Jesus Christ. Right, I'm going to try that again. Welcome back to a new video. It's been a hot minute since I've picked up a camera. Everyone's probably been seeing Josh make videos for a while and I've just been in the shadows. But basically I've been injured for a while so I've just been doing really boring physiotherapy. Um, and today I am going on my first run in about, I don't know, a couple months now, a few months. Uh, so yeah, I need to do a one kilometer run. I am absolutely chasing myself. And then I've got to do some sprinting after that and then I'm going to do some light ball work as well. This will be my first time touching the ball as well in about a few months. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to vlog it and then we'll see what we're doing. That is my warm up done as well. Uh, I did some resistance band work as well. Uh, I feel really tight and like just unmobile as anything because I haven't really been stretching for the past, I don't know, like a couple months since I've been injured. Yeah, I haven't really been doing any stretching, not even dynamic. I wasn't meant to stretch the injured area so I just sort of neglected everything else. But yeah, my legs are feeling quite tight because I did a heavy gym session this morning, which I got some clips of, so here's that session. And that brings us back to this session right now. I'm about to run one kilometer and I'll hopefully see you again in under four minutes. So that was that. As you can see, I got four minutes and six seconds, which time-wise is pathetic. The fastest I've ever got for one kilometer is three minutes, 14 seconds. And that was about a year ago when I was healthy, obviously. I mean, I'll take it for my first run. I mean, I'm quite happy. I feel fine. My body, my groin, my injury, that doesn't hurt, which is very good. But my lungs, <laughs> Anyway, now I need to do sprints. So I'm gonna recover and do sprints. I need to do 30 meter sprints for eight reps for two sets. So that was eight sprints out of the way and it felt really fucking weird. I could feel that my form was just really weird, it just didn't feel normal. Um, I felt really heavy and flat footed and I could just feel that I wasn't sprinting at like the fastest I could. I don't know if that's like a fear barrier in my mind, but apart from that weirdness, it's a pretty positive step towards me getting back to playing football obviously. I think in around five to six weeks, I should be aiming to get him back into team training. And after a few weeks training for them, I should be able to get some minutes playing. I haven't played a game of football in probably about four or five months now because of both injuries and the virus. But regardless, that was a decent session. I'm not gonna do any ball work because I'm absolutely knackered. I don't wanna force it. So yeah, I'm just gonna go home, shower, recover, and I see what's happening. Fucking solid. Alright, so it is now later on in the day. Uh, you guys asked us some questions on Instagram, and I highlighted some of them because some of them were very weird. So I've only answered a few. The first question is Would you like to go back to the UK to live? Sometime in the future, I would like, because in England, obviously. There's more opportunity in football and out of football, I think. Mm. But it's just it's more more expensive to live in. Yeah. To fund your lifestyle, it's like accommodation, renting, car insurance, all that stuff's expensive in England. Yeah. yeah, probably sometime. I don't know. We're always moving. So. Yeah. I I would want to move to a different country again because I lived in England, lived in Serbia. 
I'd love to try the third from another country. So if any aid is uh, what is wrong from like Spain or something. How to avoid eating too much. The easiest way to do that is don't buy them. Yeah, or don't buy shit food. Um, but the easiest way to do that is by counting your calories. So download My Fitness Power and just track. You can use an online calorie counter so you know how much you need to eat in order to reach your goals, whether that's maintaining in a calorie surplus or a calorie deficit. And then to track your foods, obviously whole foods are more fulfilling, so that will obviously hold back your calories. Uh, instead of eating crappy food, which is high calories and doesn't fill you up. I don't just always know what you're going to eat. Not always, but I have an idea. Like me and you know what we're going to eat almost every day because we eat the same foods anyway. So like, like uh, one night we didn't know what we were going to eat and we were close to getting a takeaway, which we did in the end, but we weren't close to it. Because we didn't have enough money, not because we were smart. <laughs> yeah, we okay. But yeah, if you just know what you're going to eat, is it possible to make it as a footballer without passing through an academy? Yes. Yes. Our favourite question. How would I train my weak foot to be as strong as my dominant foot? Any drill. Just use your weak foot. It's like the same. Um, every Q&A, every live, we get this question. Just use it. Like <clears throat> You can do passing, shooting, dribbling. If you use your weak foot, you're going to get better at it. But you can't just use your weak foot because in a game, you wouldn't use your weak foot. You'd use both. So try and use both, but if you really want to improve your weak foot, just like go 10 minutes every session, focusing on like doing the basics with your weak foot. Best workout to lose belly fat. Now, unfortunately, you cannot target an area to lose body fat. You have to be in a calorie deficit and eventually you'll lose body fat where everywhere. you have too much everywhere. And maybe your stomach is the last place. But almost for everyone, that's the last place. Yeah, that's very common to be there. I know like some people, it's in their face, for me it's probably in my neck, I literally have no chin uh, because I have a fat neck. Uh, yeah, yeah ca yeah. calorie deficit and eventually yeah. you'll lose it. Yeah, well, like, there's no, what like, you can work abs but it's not going to lose fat here. Yeah, it'll just make your abs stronger. Abs stronger, and then when you lose that weight, that body's fat, your abs will become more visible. If gained extra fat during the break, how to shred it off quickly? The same way you gained it. Calorie deficit. Is. Are we going to intro it? Mate, it's the vlog. Oh yeah. Right, but head tennis. We don't know what the forfeit is yet. We're going to get a forfeit. Uh, it's two touches, one bounce. Can't bounce in between the touches. And his side's much more bigger. He's cheating already. <laughs> what happened then, bro? <laughs> Oh, man. 